Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Recording on the phone here. So, uh, I've seen some of the masks. How much was practical in the film versus how much was digital? You sound like a man that knows your effects. When he said, I've got the makeup guys, I was like, oh yeah, I have to talk to them. Yeah. Oh, so it's, a, it's a very big deal to have this much practical work in a movie today, particularly with makeup, which are so dedicated to the actor having complete ability to perform. So it's a massive job, and, it's, and it was a great job. And we were able to get back to our roots of things that we've been doing for like the last 30 years. And I remember like watching movies so, Ass. How many different creatures that. are there? I, I see like, there's orcs, we've got elves, we yeah. have like you know, halflings or anything like that. that. Yeah, we have uh, like what like orcs, elves, elves, there's fairies, like, there's the uh, I don't want to give away too much. Oh. But so basically, like the whole Tolkien. Uh, yeah, and you know what? It was very interesting because I asked the question like an idiot. I'm like, hey, uh, didn't uh, like I'm doesn't uh, like Junior R. Tolkien uh, have the uh, copyright on the word orc? And they're like, no, that's from. Um, Norse mythology. Ooh. So he lifted that, right. you know, as he did a lot of this. Yeah, yeah. And so we were like, oh, this is great. They've, they've actually been around since before the Lord of Rings movies, you know. So the challenge for us was to come up with a look that was reminiscent of what you expect an art to look like. But, but making your own art. Making our own art and still making Joel Edgerton look sexy. Sorry, that must have been so hard. Yeah. <laughs> He's got those cheekbones, you know. You can't go wrong with those Edgerton cheekbones. What was your favorite character to create? Well, for me, and it would be different because there's so many, but for me, it was some of the thug uh, actors that would come in, these gigantic guys with gigantic heads, and we would look at them and think, we're going to need a lot more makeup for these guys. But they just had this great brutish kind of, of, of attitude, even when they weren't doing anything, which made it look like a mask. But the minute they started their thing and started moving, then it became the makeup, which was all soft and pliable, and that's a lot of expression read through. Open and then, approximately Madison how many Square different Garden. makeups were there? I'm so we proud literally of had so hundreds of four her. characters in this She's movie. And, and the way it broke down is we had about 14 hero orcs. And then, splitting off from those 14, we were able to create another about another 30 uh, orc characters. And then we had about 100 background masks. And it's kind of the ones you see tonight. Yeah. How do you feel like about films like this, shows like The Walking Dead, that are putting more emphasis into practical makeups, and then people are learning more about like the hero and the, the bee, and then like this kind of the guy in the background with a little smudge on his face? Yeah. The filler to, to, me, to me, it's sort of like watching old TV shows where you could tell who the extras were that were coming to do it, but they're not allowed to say anything. Well, I was in the makeup You know what is great about, uh, like, what's great about you shooting this on your yeah. phone right now and people sharing things all over the world? We're now, like, we, we just discovered Instagram a couple of years ago. We're, this is great. This is great for artists. We're, we're, we've hired people through Instagram, and you see beautiful work all over the world at makeup work, and it's it's spreading like a like a wildfire all across the globe. So it's very it's a very exciting time, considering that we started, like, back in the, in the 80s, you know. It's, it's, it's a very different world now and, and very exciting. Were you guys both Fangoria kids? Just, no, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Even before that, famous monsters and film that when everything was black and white. Yeah. yeah. And there was no information, you know, you had to like make it up as you Yeah, figure shit out. But now that there is lots of information, you see that the the, 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 the state of the art has elevated because you get past a lot of the a, a lot of the trial and error and the stuff that defeats you, you know. Can you cut out that he said shit? Yeah, I can pop. Oh fuck, did I say shit? <laughs> Uh, and then what's your favorite uh, creature that you've ever created? It doesn't have to be from this, but from anything you guys have ever worked uh, it's, on. It's funny, favorite creature, to me it's easier to, to name my favorite child. Uh, yeah. Sadly, you know. it's more about me than them. Sure. Um, but, but, you know, we've done so many whole body stuff, big mechanical things, the giant queen alien, oh. um, uh, little makeups. It's, it's, I like Pumpkinhead, you know Pumpkinhead? Yeah. Yeah. Tom played Pumpkinhead. He was the creature inside the suit, as well as us working on it, building the creature. So. But we worked on the original Predator also, so that's pretty cool. And Shane Black's 
the new Predator that comes out the this new summer. summer. Yeah. Which that's already been filmed, right? Been shot. Yeah. They're doing they're doing some more work okay. still in post production. But can you talk it anything about what the new Predator looks like? What new Predator? We don't know. What? No. What are you talking about? I mean, man? hypothetically. Well, you know, you'll have to get Mr. Black. Okay. To okay. Answer that. I've, I've, every time I've seen someone from the cast, I've tried to pry one or two questions out of them. Who's, who, who bends first? Who's the worst guy to keep a secret? Start with you, Brown. <laughs> if you can get a hold of Fred Decker, he loves to talk. He's a monster Fred, Fred fan. He loves creatures. Well, you guys created the Queen Alien. How do you feel about the rumors of Netflix or uh, Disney buying... Uh, Fox, and that because there's an alien queen, all the xenomorphs are technically Disney princesses then? Mm, that's I a like tough that. one. I but like I like that. the idea of having a chance to do another queen, a full-size queen with all kinds of stuff that we can do today that we couldn't do even 15 right. years ago. We, um, uh, we work with uh, our friend Neil Blomkamp. Yeah. And um, we're, we're, we're the just, Alien 5 that he was Yeah, we're just hoping that uh, somewhere down the line, if if, if the stars align, that uh, he'll get a chance to contribute to the franchise because he's a brilliant guy. And you guys also did uh, that spooky movie that came out not too long ago, right? Yeah, what was the name of It? Uh, it was... Oh, it it's was, on the tip of my tongue. It. Is, uh, it? Is it? Uh, oh, well, we'll never know. But thanks, guys. All right.